radiometry. You have magnetometry, which is the um, which is the sensor that measures the, the magnetic field. Gradiometry is the difference between those two points. So if the whilst the total field might not vary very much between two points, um, you get a response in, in in the difference between them, and that acts as, a, as an edge detector. Supposing you were trying to take the measure the temperature in a in a room, and you've got thermometers floating around in space every few centimetres in up, down and sideways. You measure the temperature everywhere, but then you can look at the temperature difference between two points. So multi-sampling. Multi-sampling. Multi yeah. So gradiometry is measuring the rate of change of something in one direction or another. Ah. And in our case, it's the strength of the Earth's magnetic field. In archaeology, you're not looking to make... You're looking for suggested shapes and areas. You're not, you're not, it depends on how good the data is and how good the ground conditions are, so there's all sorts of variables. Right. It's important to understand that the equipment we're using isn't a Spitfire detector. It can't tell the <laughs> difference between what's a buried Spitfire, what's buried scrap metal or anything like that. Yeah. All it can say is that this is consistent really with the story of there being some buried metal in the ground. We have to remember we've got um, magnetic soils here, the laterites which again are, are the ferrous. Well we really don't know what they look like anyway either so Exactly. And again, it's not geology we're used to, because obviously we're used to working in England and, and uh, we've got to, we're, we're learning how, you know, what's going on here. Straight lines in 90 degrees, so helps. So some of the geophysical stuff has a giant right angle in it? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We have suspicions yeah. what it is, but again, you know, until we actually, first of all, measure it out on the ground and see if it, was, if it reflects specific known features from the 1940s. Um, and if it doesn't, then it's something else that needs explaining. If it yeah. does, then we've got a working hypothesis to what it is and we can test it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.